Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. In this video, we will talk about one very small but very powerful and very important feature from Angular 16. This feature is about the use case of input properties. In Angular applications, we use input property to pass the data from a parent component to the child component. But in some cases, because of any reason, we forgot to pass the data from the parent component to the child component for the input properties, then we do not get the compile time error. We always get the issue at the runtime. Now Angular 16 has fixed this problem and now there is a way to make your input properties as required. Let's understand how it works. So here I'm using this Angular application which I have created by using Angular 16. Let's quickly have a look what we have over here. We are having the default Angular application and in this default Angular application I have created this employee component. In this employee component I'm having this input ID which is of type string and this is very simple. Here I'm logging the value of this ID in this ngOnInit method also I'm displaying this value on this HTML file of this employee component. Now I'm using this employee component with selector this app employee in this app component over here. So this is the tag that I'm using over here for this child component and this is some default data that we have in the Angular application, right? And this application is already running on this localhost 4200. Now you can see that this application is running perfectly. There is no error over here and we are not passing the data of this ID from this particular parent component. In this case, this app component is the parent and this employee component is the child. Now, as per this new concept of Angular 16, I want to mark this ID as required. It is super easy to do. Over here inside this input, I can write this required and let's just mark it true. That's it. Just save the changes and let's see what we get. Immediately, you will notice that we are having the error in this app.component file. Over here, you can see we are having the red line. It is saying errors occur in template of component app component required input id from component employee component must be specified it is saying the id is required and you must provide its value let's see what we have on the browser as well on the browser you will notice we are having the same error message it means we can identify this problem at the compile time and if i will pass the data of id over here which is one save the value you will notice everything is working fine as expected. We are getting this value over here on this HTML file. We are also getting it over here on this console. This is how you can make your input properties as required. To use this feature, make sure you are using Angular 16 version. That is all in this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.